Woo. Hello, YouTube. All right. I'm Patrick, and this is me inside of my hot sweltering school bus. And um, today I kind of want to talk about a couple things here. Important things. Maybe not important to you, but important to me. So, recently, decided I need to do a big old life reset. And it's time to get some of my shit together. Uh, some of the things going on here are my health is out of whack. My uh, ability to create and do things that I enjoy is out of whack. I'm slowly degrading inside of this bus and I have to do something about it before it takes me away. Puts me right to ground with all my other dreams. <laughs> so, here's the dealio. I want to talk about this. I had a winging scapula. That's right. I don't know if you would know what that means, but for a moment, I partially could fly. I had the ability to fly. I was flying high. And then it struck me and took me down. It took me completely down. Let me tell you what's going on here, people. Let me just tell you. So, I had a winging scapula, and it just got fixed like a month or two ago. This winging scapula had a pinched nerve, shut down this whole muscle back here, and I'll break that down in another video. And as it shut it down, it pinched a nerve up here, and it pinched all these nerves down here. So five years ago, I had injury that I thought was carpal tunnel, which is ridiculous for someone at 25, 26. Um, or repetitive strain injury, whatever it was, for a whole year I couldn't touch my instrument, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't play. And that just brought on rippling depression and anxiety around something that I dedicated my life to pursuing. And uh, it just created a lot of mental stress. And that was the same time too where I jumped into living off grid. I've been living off grid for five years. The only time that I've had electricity um, was for one year tops out of the five. Barely had amenities in the first place. So I live off grid generator with very little in the first place, full on minimalist life. And I was approaching that and jumping out of a crazy life of normal living to complete not normal living with an injury that completely took me out. So basically what I'm getting at is I fixed it. I fixed it and I feel good. So in doing that, um, I had to deal with all the symptoms all the way up to this point with my hand, my body, and I didn't even know what was going on until I really started playing drums. I'm gonna be going through and showing that and documenting the recovery process because I'm still recovering, I'm still dealing with some of the effects of it. But let me tell you, there was an actual back crack and once that popped and something released, literally everything changed. It was a 180 difference, something that was hitting me for a whole decade, just gone while it was active. When I was alternate picking or doing any crazy technique, there was always a temp like a threshold inability that I could go and then my hand would start to skip and pop and do weird shit when I was playing completely gone by the way I cuss a lot so we have to deal with that and I'll find a way to deal with it later um, part of this is also I don't really know what I'm doing like I kind I know what I'm doing I want to want to talk about but how do I want to deliver it <laughs> I don't know yet so it's better to though do <laughs> I just don't know how to deliver my stuff yet, so I'm not gonna sit here and daydream. I'm starting to do this YouTube so I can beat the perfectionism. Show how to recover from winging scapula and- Disclaimer! This man is not a physical therapist and you should always check with the professional first. And what it's like to quit tobacco and gain power back into my instrument. Cause I kind of been fucking my voice and I think I really like my voice. And I would like to invite you all on the journey as I vlog all of this and just kind of share all the things I've been learning to deal with it all the way up to the point that I actually deal with it. And um, if you're a vocalist and you're curious about how smoking affects your voice, we can go through all of that because I'm going to be doing exercises every day to deal with it. I said something about perfectionism. Got to be done with that. Done with perfectionism. I don't care how it looks, how I talk, how I do, whatever I do would be a beat. Just fine. I like cinematic video. I like all the fancy stuff, but I'm not Peter McKinnon. It's not going to happen. He's Pete McKinnon. I'm Pat. Do it my own way as I learn. I just want to give the info, get comfortable on cam, get my flow, get the info out, and then start to deliver it as it is, because it just needs to happen. And um, I'm a metal vocalist, metal musician, producer, songwriter, and uh, it's now time for me to start shining and let that shit out. So I got a couple videos I'm going to be putting out, and covers. Oh, what a reach. Mm. Ooh, 
what's this? Wow, this is all that I live in. I've been living in this for a hot minute. And when I say hot, I mean hot, sweaty, full sweat. And um, let's see. Uh, so I'm Patrick, and um, if you. <laughs> So the next video, winging scap, and um, oh, monthly review. I took a class in the monthly course. These vlogs are just gonna be updates and just fun, get to know me things. I do have more technical videos on practice breakdown, like dealing with the scapula. I had to redo all of my technique, I'm doing that. I'm gonna be going down the breakdown videos of a winging scapula and the things that I'm doing. And um, you're just gonna get to know me and the craziness that's going on in there. <laughs> and heal, maybe. I might be able to help somebody. Dee dee dee. Because I live on the West Coast full of hippies. I'm in this transformative experience and I think I said it in my first video. I want to transform at some degree, like a burning passion, Phoenix burn. Phoenix burning. Talk, well, now there's a fire and the Phoenix burning is happening. And this is the reason why I want to do a reset. There's just no better time than right now because chaos. So uh, anyway, I got some more music and some things. I'm just happy to get on here and be a little whack because no better way to do it. Anyway, I love yous. I don't even know who you are that I'm loving, but I hope it's somebody. I'll see you all later. Yeah. Go get her. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe or hit that like button and get it.